Myers, this is Late Night. We hope you're doing well. And now, if you don't mind, we're going to get to the news. When asked in a new interview how he would like to be remembered, President Biden said, quote, I hope my legacy is that I was honest, straightforward, and did what I said. In that case, I would say, don't fall off any more bikes. <laughs> The Arizona Supreme Court ruled yesterday that a law from 1864 that criminalizes abortion is still enforceable. 1864? Was anybody even there yet? <laughs> Was this their first law right after don't shoot the piano player? <laughs> President Biden's former White House Chief of Staff Ron Klain said yesterday that Biden, quote, does two or three events a week where he's cutting a ribbon on a bridge. Yeah, he should really stop doing that because ribbons are like the only thing holding our bridges up. When asked in a new interview what he considered the primary threat to freedom and democracy at home, President Biden said, quote, Donald Trump, seriously. Dude, stop saying seriously. Nobody thinks you're joking. <laughs> I didn't think you were going to say video games. Everyone knows Trump is the biggest threat to democracy. I do a whole show about it every night, a show you were on. Seriously. <laughs> former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi yesterday criticized former President Trump's announcement that he does not support a national abortion ban and said, quote, he either is stupid or he thinks the rest of us are stupid. Oh, lady, it's both. <laughs> That's like saying he's either guilty or he has bad lawyers. Two things can be true. <laughs> the utility company Con Edison announced this week that they accidentally spilled about 1,000 gallons of oil into the Bronx River, which severely polluted the oil. The NFL announced yesterday that players can choose from 12 new helmet designs next season. Unfortunately, some will get stuck with this one. Yeah! <laughs> Off-season Jets burn! <laughs> Consumer Reports yesterday called on the USDA to remove Lunchables from the National School Lunch Program and said they contain, quote, relatively high levels of lead, cadmium, and sodium. On the plus side, the students are getting a crash course on the periodic table. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I had that today. I had a little bit of that. According to new estimates, Costco each month is selling as much as $200 million worth of gold bars. Well, I'm not surprised, since you have to buy, like, 48 at a time. <laughs> According to a new study, lesbians are more likely to climax during sex than heterosexual women. Aha! I knew it was her fault! And finally, authority. What a, can we go back to the picture? I like that that's. <laughs> Whoever that person was when they took that picture did not know what joke it was going to be used for. <laughs> and finally, authorities in Florida recently arrested a man after they allegedly found him sitting naked in a trash can on a public sidewalk. Even worse, there were children around. <laughs> Unfortunately, that was our last one.